Alright. I was just watching a video on the new Barbie movie, which I actually quite enjoyed. But uh, he was talking about how Ken represents both, you know, sexes and the Me Too movement. And quite frankly, um, I gotta tell you that, um, in this current movement, men are severely mistreated. I don't fucking care if that is not a popular opinion, but, um, bitches shut the fuck up like just because you are a woman does not erase the fact that men have issues too we have grown up in a few decades but i'm born in 1984 you know i started going into school in the 90s and just in high school late 90s graduated in 2002 it was like I had every fucking opportunity that a man had so these bitches of today need to shut the fuck up and You say all this shit that men don't deserve the same rights? I'm sorry, bitch. Every human being has feelings. So these modern feminists need to suck a dick. Get a dick in your ass. Seriously. Like, from all the shit that I have heard of what my mother had to live through and my grandmother, and even my great-grandmother, y'all motherfuckers need to shut the fuck up. We have had true equality between the sexes. Women have had true equality. So you need to shut the fuck up and quit quit putting men down. Because I'd rather have a real fucking man, a burly man, just... Beat the fuck out of a motherfucker that's that's a soy boy and take care of me. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Even though, you know, back in the day, my gay friends would love to tell me I was fucking bi. Yeah, I love the female form, but no, I'm straight. I love men. Love the female body, but... I'd never marry a woman. I'd marry a man. But. Ain't gonna happen for me. (laughs) Most likely. No man could handle me. (laughs) But. uh, After hearing all the. The shit. That is talked about the Barbie movie like dude it's a movie about Barbie and I know a lot of entertainment is poised in a certain direction yes I get that but The Barbie movie. (laughs) I liked. I liked it. 
because it showed the struggles of both men and women. Because people love these days to ignore the struggles of men. And even the struggles of actual women. Because they want to portray women as just <laughs> girl bosses. Like, oh yeah, we're so strong, we can take on any man. Like, I'm sorry, I ain't fucking gonna take on a 6'3", 250-pound man. Like, ain't gonna happen. Like, already been there. Stab that bitch twice. <laughs> so, ain't gonna happen easily. Had to take... <laughs> literal fucking violence to save myself. So, I'm really fucking sick of these fucking social justice warriors, feminist pieces of shit, talking about shit they know nothing about. I recently made a video of my sexual assaults and how women need to speak up. Yes, they do. But there is also <laughs> the complete ignoring of men's suffering. I won't abide by that. I know. <laughs> my first ex... We were on and off for 14 years total. Uh, his girlfriend literally tried to fucking murder him. What did he get for that? Nothing. Because uh, people don't believe a man can, abu can be abused by a woman. Yes, they can. So, uh... This whole movement is going in a direction that, no, I'm not going to follow. Yeah, I've been abused as a woman, but I'm not going to ignore the abuse that men have gone through since I know some of them that have gone through it. And... Most men aren't going to admit to it. So, call me a bitch, but fuck you. Suck my fucking dick. Suck it. Because I'm going to speak for both because I understand the situations. And, yeah, uh... In my one video, yeah, women have it really fucking rough. But nobody seems to want to see what men go through. That motherfucker got stabbed. And nobody did anything for him. Because it was a woman that did it. Yeah, people would say, oh, yeah, nah. he was my first love. We were on and off for 14 years, but we're still close because we had a basis on friendship. We had a foundation, and I still care about him and what he goes through. Does that mean I'm still in love with him? No, that means I still fucking have love for him and want his safety. People get that really fucking confused. Like, love. If you can truly say you don't love someone anymore, you never loved them in the first place. Love may change, but love is eternal. Bitches. So, sorry. If you have fallen out of love with somebody, you still love them. And that person, even though I would never have a romantic relationship with, 
I still love him and want the best for him and would protect him the best I can. It doesn't mean anything. It just means I love him and want the best for him like I would any friend. So, for these sick fucks to say that that is wrong, suck my fucking dick. Suck it. Like, balls to the wall. If I had actual testicles, I'd stick them in your fucking face. Men and women go through serious shit. Yes, I have spoken about women's... being the most, most... Casualties of war. But. Men will not admit. To abuse. Because they're men. And. If I could take that bitch out. I would. But. He doesn't want me to. So I won't. Because I love him. Not in love with him, because that bitch, oh man, she was so fucking jealous when I was talking about somebody else. But, yes, I have love for him. Because he was my first love, and we had a foundation on friendship. And yeah, love is eternal, love never dies. It just changes. It changes. I'm not in love with that bitch. I'd never be with him again, but I still love him. And I want him to be safe. That's what love is. So, call me insane, but uh, caring about somebody and wanting their safety, what's wrong with that? Don't have much time since I have so many videos on my phone. But, um, yeah. What's wrong with loving someone and caring about someone and, and wanting their safety? So, men and women deserve to have respect and safety. So, it is what it is.